I am an ancestral spirit, have been tormenting and destroying careers of him and his family. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. What a wonderful prayer. Today I want to see the benefits of praying throughout the time, without ceasing. How continue praying in my heart? Hello, madam. How can I help you? I really want to buy some eggs. Okay. That will be one dollar each. Sure. Give me seven eggs. And a bag of rice. Of course. I cover this woman with the blood of Jesus. Mummy. Just a second. Yes, my dear daughter. Sorry. How is your health? Fine. No, mummy. You are not okay. You need to go to the hospital. Otherwise you might experience a heart failure. In two days now. What do you mean? Because I only feel heart mummers time to time and swelling legs. You're also having trouble to breath. You use an inhaler. Are you a doctor? How did you know? Relax. No I'm not. Have been praying for you. Every time I pass by. I'm glad the Holy Spirit showed me something. Wow. I thank God's grace for locating me. So. My dear daughter. What should I do about this? Will I pass out? No you will not die. If you just stop your habits. Like smoking flu powder, staying in smoke for a long time. Getting angry and drinking alcohol. Oh my. I didn't know about it. I appreciate that. My dear. How make sure. I will discipline my lifestyle. Jesus loves you. No doubt about that. Wow. E. God has shown me enough revelation today. I have to continue praying. Otherwise, God is still saying something. Oh my goodness. Estella. You're already here. Did anything happen, Mr. G? Yes. Today. I don't feel well. And as soon as I woke up, I received a call from the entrepreneurs. That our contract with them was just terminated. Just like that. I can't believe it. Thank you, Jesus. I cover this man with the blood of Jesus. And I cover the company as well. With the blood, with of, the Jesus. blood of Jesus. Oh no. Don't worry, Mr. G. Everything will be okay. I hate those guys. They're just thieves. I quit. Mr. G. You need to renounce this generational spirit. Excuse me? No. Don't be upset. Can I explain the reason if you mind? Let it be understandable. Great. Mr. G. Sorry but I have been praying for you. And the company for two weeks now. I knew this would come. And the reason is simple. What's that? There is something you did. That made the business people so mad. It was so sinful. You need to confess it. And move on. What? Who told you? Did someone see me? How did you know? I thought I should expose what the Lord had shown me. Otherwise, it's both our company. And we need to work and move together. But if someone is missing the point, that would be you. You're right. I did something wrong. I cheated. I wrote a false document, adding up unnecessary paragraphs. I thought maybe I could be recognized. I'm sorry. Now have ruined everything. It's over. But that's not the root cause. Then what is it? This problem is a family thing. There is failure and fear running in your family. Only if you are willing, we can pray about it before work. Sure. We can start even now. Okay, let's forgive and repent, then renounce every evil spirit. Ah, you idiot. Oh dear, it's a manifestation. Okay, who are you? You. How did you see me? Leave my plans alone. Speak out. I am an ancestral spirit, have been tormenting and destroying careers of him and his family. What is your mission? In this business? Failure, this man will not succeed. I will use him to be an idiot. And cheater. 
he will be confused. So you? Why are you praying for people? You're destroying my plans. And my altars. It's your gifts. You're so honest. Your master has now destroyed everything. Thank you Jesus. Now leave this body and his family. Ouch. Out. Ouch. Out. Okay, In Jesus I'm name. You are free Mr. G. How are you? Check yourself. I feel relieved. Wow. Have never felt like this before. Estella. You're a prophetess. But tell me. How did you get to this level? God's grace. You see? I read the word day and night. I attend intercessions. I fast. Every once or twice a week. I make sure. That I always speak my confession. Which is Romans 10 verse 9. I pray always. 24 7. With a habit. Of praying for people around me. Would you think a Christian would not receive such benefits like this? Having dreams and visions? Praying for the sick and casting out demons by God's grace? How can I believe, that I would also have such kind of power or benefits? Go and read your Bible. Mark 16 verse 17. Joel 2 verse 28. And more. I tell you this. Ephesians 6 verse 10. You will know who you are. It's a blessing to meet you. R. Prophetess Tamar. Thank you, Jesus.